Hey there guys and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This time my opponent is Mega Man NG aka Jose. So let's see how this battle will go. Bring in Cradilly again, I am sure using that thing an awful lot. And he leads with a Chansey. Okay, I guess that works, he goes for Toxic on me, that's kind of... Cradilly does not like that very much. But Cradilly is really only here to set up Stealth Rocks and then maybe take an occasional hit, so he's not that important. I can afford losing him. So we'll get a little bit of poison damage. And I figure, okay, get Cradilly out of there. I could poison him, but that he's just gonna switch out with natural cure. I bring in Weavile. Figured he wasn't really gonna do much to Weavile anyway. Seismic Tossing, yeah, Weavile can take that. He doesn't really mind it anyway. But yeah, I figured it's Chansey, it's gonna have an Eevee Light on it, so the sooner I get rid of that, the better. Knock off, get rid of Eevee Light. Pretty much crippled Chansey. Though he immediately cripples me back with Thunder Wave. Kinda sucks, now Weavile is also pretty much useless. But he's probably still gonna outspeed Chansey. Or not. Jeez, Paralysis is really good at slowing stuff down. And go for the Ice Punch, which is stronger than Knock Off at this point. And almost take it out. If only I had Icicle Crash, but sadly Icicle Crash and Knock Off are incompatible with each other. Because Icicle Crash is a breeding move that Weevil can only get in Gen 6, and Knock Off is a tutor move that it can only get in Gen 5. Bring in Lucario. Figured, go Mega, because he's either going to switch and I'm going to get a free Mega in, or I'm just going to Mega and take him out because he's not outspeeding me. And he doesn't switch, I go for the Flash Cannon. I don't know what I was expecting him to switch into. But I think he had something that resisted fighting. I don't know, it's been a couple days since I recorded this. Brings in Arcanine. I am i don't think I can one-hit KO him with Aura Sphere. So I'm getting Mega Lucario out of there. Because he's not going to live a fire move. Bring in Avalug. I love this thing so much, just look at it. Flare Blitz coming from what I presume is a max attack Arcanine. Boom. Doesn't even do half. It's weak to it. It's a hell of a strong move coming from a decently strong Pokemon. And it doesn't even do half. Avalug is amazing. He heals up using Morning Sun. Figured, eh, that's okay. Because I can pretty much outlast him. As I have Recover, go right back up to full. And unless he gets a lucky critical, his Arcanine will never be able to beat my Avalug. So he goes for Crunch, try and get a defense drop. Clever. But I go for Earthquake, and Avalug's attack is absolutely beastly as well. This is no attack investment. Over half. So he can heal up now with Morning Sun, I can go for another Earthquake and just take him out, probably. So he goes for Close Combat, I don't really know why. Flare Blitz would have probably been a better option there. Because that way he could have also tried to get a burn on me, which Avalug... I guess he doesn't really mind it too much, but it's not helping him either. Takes away my Leftovers recovery and my attack output. So another Earthquake, Avalug, Ice-type has just defeated a Fire-type. When do you see that happening? Not much. Brings in Ferrothorn. Ah, uh, Can't really do much to a Ferrothorn. So I figured I'd get Avalug out of there. Bring in Jirachi. Ah, uh, you really need to stop using Jirachi. I'm using him way too much, but he's just so good. Anyway, he uses Leech Seed on me. I guess it could be worse. Figured I'd go for a Fire Punch and see how much that would do to him. So... So like four times effective, hoping to maybe also get a burn. He barely survives. Now there was a critical, and I do get the burn. And then he gets Iron Barb damage on me. And also Rocky Helmet, so... Using physical attacks against this Ferrothorn is not a good idea. He sets up Stealth Rocks. Could be worse. I don't really mind that too much. And he has a little bit of health back, but another Fire Punch is definitely going to take him out now. Especially because the burn pretty much meditates the leech seed. But he cleverly switches it out. So brings in a Greninja. Boy, do I hate fighting Greninjas. I'm gonna go for Fire Punch because it's a choice. Scarf Jirachi. Don't have a choice. Gets a little bit of health back from the leech seed. No burn on the Fire Punch. It wouldn't have been that helpful, but it could have at least added a little bit of damage. 
switch out Jirachi because I'm locked into Fire Punch. Bring in Crudelli. Maybe he's gonna go for a water move, not likely. He's probably gonna go for like, yeah, Dark Pulse. Protean. That ability is way too good. And Crudelli is gonna take it decently well. Though now he's probably gonna go for an Ice Beam or something and that's super effective and that's gonna take me out. Especially because of the Toxic. So, somehow he goes for Dark Pulse again. Is this a choice, Greninja? Don't think so. Gonna make Giga Drain. Shame he's not a Water and Dark type anymore. It would have been a lot more helpful then. But whatever. It probably won't help me survive another Dark Pulse. But I guess it's all damage. Got a little bit of Toxic. Uh, that, that was definitely not helpful for Credilly in this battle. He goes for Ice Beam, as I expected, so he's not choiced. He's not getting any recoil either, so he's he doesn't have a life orb. I wonder what he does have then. An expert belt or something, or uh, wise glasses? I don't know. Bring in Mega Lucario. I figured Mega Lucario was faster. Apparently, I was wrong. Goes for Surf. Mega Lucario is not bulky, so I was kind of fearing it here. Should have gone for Aura Sphere. I'm not really sure what I was expecting him to do, but this doesn't get the kill. Aura Sphere would have gotten the kill. I guess I was expecting him to be faster and him to still be an Ice type. Anyway, he takes out Mega Lucario. That was kind of an anticlimax. Figure it go for Starmie. Maybe Starmie's faster. At least I thought so. Once again, I was wrong. Greninja is apparently a lot faster than I give it credit for. And Starmie a lot less bulky. So, way to go Starmie, that was an awesome debut. Figure, okay, Jirachi, pretty much my last hope here. He is Scarfed, so who knows, and who knows, he actually does outspeed. Go for Iron Head, take it out. Awesome. The team is saved. For the moment, at least. He brings in Gardevoir. Figured, okay, this is gonna go Mega. Trace the Serene Grace, which will probably get replaced by Pixelate anyway. So that's kind of pointless. And I totally outspeed Gardevoir, even Mega Gardevoir. Because it's not really that fast. Go for Iron Head, it is not really all that physically bulky either. Iron Head, boom, one shot, take it out. So that's nice, his Mega is already down. Brings in Electivire. Hmm. He does resist Iron Head, but that doesn't really stop me from flinching him to death, so I'm just gonna give it a go. Good, good amount of damage, actually. Flinch number one. I like where this is going. Another Iron Head. Can I get another flinch? Yes, I can. And another one to wrap it up. Down goes Electivire. Oh, Jirachi, you are so good. Why don't more people use this thing? And then, I'm pretty sure all he has left is this Ferrothorn, which has seen better days. Hell, the Stealth Rocks almost killed him right there. Iron Head... Take him out. Though, I'm gonna get a crap ton of damage from Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet as well. And it actually kills off Jirachi. But that doesn't mean it's a draw or something, because I'm pretty sure I still had Avalug left. And maybe something else. So, good battle, Mega Man Angie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.